हरि ओम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन ब्रह्मचर्य ऑफन अंडरस्टूड एज सेलिबसी और कंट्रोल ऑफ सेक्शुअल थॉट्स सेक्शुअल बिहेवियर्स सेक्शुअल एक्ट्स सेक्शुअल फैंटसीज एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ योग ओवरऑल योगा हैज गिवन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस टू द हेल्थ ऑफ आर रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम to protect it to keep it healthy many of these regulations are given if you talk about science there's lot of scientific studies which say that if the reproductive organs and their health is very good then certainly you will live longer so reproductive health is connected with longevity brahmacharya which is aimed at achieving this health of reproductive organs is very important in ashtanga yoga or hatha yoga even in bhagavad gita it's very important in ashtanga yoga patanjali says brahmacharya pratishthayam virya labha if you practice brahmacharya then you will gain the strength the prana the vital energy and prana is our life the vital energy is our life so to conserve and to increase this vital energy of prana or ojas as is called in ayurveda brahmacharya is very important ayurveda also says that the pranic energy goes down if too much of sexual activity is triggered sexual activity is not only the sex but thinking about it fantasies about it is also considered a act in ayurveda this the reproductive fluids are the last conversion of the food that we eat so when we eat the food the first conversion is liquids which goes into our intestines and then it's absorbed into the blood so the second conversion is blood then third conversion is flesh muscles then next is storage fats then the bones then the nerves and then the last is this reproductive fluids hormones so they are very important in yoga and in ayurved now this sexual desire is a very natural desire so we shouldn't be really feeling guilty or bad or feeling it as a sin there is no sin as per yoga in sexual desire it is given by the mother nature for procreation and because you are involving in procreation which is a act to support the creation the mother nature gives us some positive experience some good hormones such as oxytocin or dopamine which makes us happy so this is a natural act yoga believes that although it's a natural act because of the positive state that we can achieve after this act people often abuse it especially when they are stressed and there is attitude of free expression so let me just have or get what i want and many times the free expression of this sexual desire results in addictions it also results in abuse of others it also creates lot of law and order problems also creates mental health issues if you just consider the porn on internet 31 according to one estimate one study in probably 2011 they said about 35% of the internet traffic is about porn which is highly significant one another study to a very popular porn website in 2019 that study pointed out 42 billion visits in a year that makes it 150 million visits per day 
which is very very interesting and significant we should pay attention to so much of strong desires when you express it freely this is what happens then the another thought that comes to mind is okay brahmacharya is all about suppression well it's not expression and it's not suppression what are the problems with suppression due to religious beliefs many people try and suppress their sexual thoughts fantasies sexual acts and that results in lot of problems like the expression results in compulsive sexual behavior which involves all these thoughts and fantasies and acts or porn or anything this suppression also increases the similar activity in the mind and it can result in depression anxiety or addictions or lower mental well being so expression is not good suppression is not good but then how to deal with it in bhagavad gita shri krishna has given a very positive perspective on this brahmacharya and he says that the sexual act itself is given to you by the mother nature so it can't be a sin but because the sensory organs are pulled to this aspect of our personality the desire the sexual desire aspect our mind is vulnerable and weak so we can easily get carried away with this so very step by step approach of controlling it by becoming friend with our mind by accepting that it is a part of the mother nature slowly slowly we need to bring it under control so it's a control it's not suppression it's a control it's not free expression i'll tell you a quick story there were two disciples of a guru they were staying with their guru in the ashram ashram was big many disciples were there and they all followed this yogic disciplines one day the guru invited these two disciples one of them was a senior disciple who was in the ashram for many years and the other one was a junior disciple and he told both of these disciple to go to a nearby town and do some seva work some karma yoga work of helping the villagers and he requested them to come back before the night back to the ashram so they started their journey they completed their work in the village on the way back there was a river and the river had about chest deep water but the current was strong both of them were very good swimmers so they had no problem they were about to enter the water they heard a young girl asking for help when both of them looked at her the younger disciple immediately had a thought he said oh i am a celibate so i shouldn't be looking at her i should be talking to her but the senior disciple asked her yes what can i do for you and the girl requested him to help her cross the river because she didn't know the swimming and she had to reach the other end because her mother is waiting for her the junior disciple got angry in his mind he said how can she ask a monk who is a sanyasi who has taken a resolve of celibacy brahmacharya how can she ask this favor but the senior disciple said okay you climb on my shoulders and i will carry you through the water the junior disciple got angry he said how can the senior one do this oh maybe just because people are not there he just trying to fulfill his desires anyway they didn't talk to each other they crossed the river the senior disciple helped the girl get down the girl was very grateful she said thank you and goodbye and the senior disciple accepted that appreciated and also gave her blessings they started their journey back 
The whole time when they were walking back to the ashram, the junior disciple was angry with the senior disciple and he wouldn't talk at all. When they came to the ashram, they talked with the guru about the seva work, the karma yoga work in the village. And then the guru said, okay, you go and rest now. That is a good work. That's nice. Thank you. The senior disciple left. But the junior disciple stayed there. And the guru realized that something is wrong with him. So guru asked him, what's the matter with you, my friend? And the junior one said the whole story. And he said, I don't like the behavior of my senior disciple, my friend. Because he did not follow the celibacy. He carried that girl on his shoulders through the water. The guru smiled and he said, My friend, look, your senior disciple friend left the girl on the other bank of the river and you are still carrying her in your mind. And this is a very important message for any one of us to follow and understand. No one can achieve celibacy overnight. It is not proper also to completely stop all the contact with whosoever you feel your sexual desire with. But what you can do is you can start reducing the thoughts. You can start controlling the fantasies. Controlling, not suppressing. The body produces reproductive fluids and hormones. Certain level of hormones trigger desires. So they are natural. So not fighting with them. Slowly developing understanding and a slow control over our behavior, over our thinking is very important. For a householder, also this is possible. You don't have to completely give up all your responsibilities for your partner. And also it's your body needs. But then you can slowly bring that under control. So it's all about controlling our mind. And because of that control of the mind, we can make our mind peaceful. Hatha Yoga says, if you practice asanas and pranayam and meditation, you will certainly achieve the perfection in yoga. But it will take a long time. But if you add celibacy to it, the time will reduce to almost one-tenth. This is what Hatha Yoga Pradipika says. So, celibacy, if added with the way that I am telling you, will certainly add value to your practice, your control of your mind. And it will help you achieve health and strength and prana. Swami Vivekananda, a great yoga master, was approached by a very beautiful girl when he was in the tour. He was touring the Europe. And the girl fell in love with him because of his energy, because of his aura, because of his wisdom. And she requested him if she can have a son from him, baby from him. He smiled and he immediately said, then make me your son. And the girl writes in her experience of Swami Vivekananda's in, uh, the interaction with him. She writes, the moment this yogi said, make me your son, I could see the childlike eyes looking at me like a mother. That's a power of a yogi. That's a power of control of the desires. So, this is about Brahmacharya. It's a hard journey. We can start one step at a time. Hari Om.